hello hello welcome back to the vlog so today is officially a day before Fali's concert <coughs> we're going to see Mayday 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 okay well okay well okay well okay la bye à la popo okay Lobby donc is a concert of Fali that's like Manzaka I did my nails, um, I did a nice colour, my sister actually inspired me to do this She was like, it's really just time to switch up the nails, it's the festive season So she did it in red as well, this colour, but mine is um, a different shade My salon didn't have the shade that she um, she has So I went for something very, it's literally the same thing, but just different names And with the shade, so so nice, I'm actually trying to film for TikTok at the same time um, I... I'm so excited. I think, okay, I have two ideas for my outfit for the concert. I'm thinking, by the way, I bought this fruit bowl yesterday. Well, my sister was telling me about this thing she saw on TikTok and apparently like, it's not good to keep your onions, tomatoes in the fridge because it builds bacteria quickly and it spreads bacteria in your fridge. So it's best to keep your onions and all your fruits outside. So I got this bowl from TK Maxx. It was like 20 pounds. And I was, I've been looking for a wooden bowl like this for a long time. And there was, it was between this one and another one. That one was 14 pounds, but it had like some design on it. And I was like, no, I want it to be plain. Cause I do have like wooden spoons. I've got a wooden chopboard. Always use a wooden chopboard. I'll send this to Lingala cause it's really important. So <laughs> No, it it be a nini o pib. So go kata kaba onion ba ba nini na eloka ya wood se kwa. Uh, oh God, wood be benga onin. Anyway, ozo kompon no. So go kata kaba onion ba tomato na yo na eloko oyo ya plastic. Tika kusali la ngo paske plastic. Ato zo kata biloko ba plastic pone kota na kata ba na biloko zo liya. Eza bien te pona santé. Eza bien o change o sala wood. Libanga, no, pas libanga. Is it nino? Um, anyway, you you oh, you've been making noise over. Oh, sale la ka oh yo, parce que is a mieux pour la santé, parce que oh is a naturel. Okay, wood is a très naturel, is a bien. Si tu veux cater la ka, bah onion na yo na plastique. Et lo ka boya plastique, il faut boire ka, parce que tant que tu cater bah plastique peso longwa. Et tu cotes na bilo ko, tu zo li ango donc is a bien te pour la santé. So I was just saying that even so, if you're using a chopboard. To cut, a, a, sorry, a plastic chopstick board to cut your fruit and veg, it's really bad for your health. You're meant to be using a wooden one because it's natural. The plastic ones, you will end up getting plastic in your food and you end up eating it, and it's not good for health. So that's why I thought about onion, pe is that about onion, but tomate, if it's a libanda, but then what you want a frigo. Et on mona que bah tomate, especially a bit a bit back avant, but bacteria. Ya ebi marana onion, pena tomate, et tout circulé, congelé, fridge na yo, et tout pesa maladi. Donc, et ça mieux pour tikango, li banda, na bol ya boe. So, yeah, that's why I got this from TK Maxx. Na son bio na TK Maxx, a ki vin l'ouvre, pour nan tcha ba tomate, ba onion, na tche pe avocat nan la, parce que nan liak avocat mingi. So, kon lingi poso na yo, za la bien, ten na yo, za la bien, ma fou tane longi. Donc, e, e, et sa la ko sem, ou bi maka jen, Obi maka sembe 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 sembe. Eza pe bien pona sou ki pona sante vroma. Avoka se trez importan ko li ata moko chaki jor. So ko ko ka avoka te li an wata de fwa na semen. Aw je se na avokado is one of the best things you can eat for your skin, for your hair. I eat avocado almost every single day and it's so good for your skin. It's so good for your health. It's good for younger looking skin. There's loads of natural oils in here, which is so good. So yeah, I've got this. And I, you know, during Black Friday, I purchased a hat. It's this brand called Rosaline something. I got it from Farfetch. It, it was 88 pounds. It usually, they usually sell it for about uh, 300 pounds something special from Farfetch 
So during Black Friday, I also purchased this hat, but it only came in today. I missed the delivery yesterday. I got it in a size medium, and Katy was like, Ajish, with your big head, why are you getting a size medium? I was like, uh, excuse me, my head is not that big. <laughs> so, quick unboxing. So this is what it's coming like. I copied my bestie, Katy Dilam. And it's coming with a bag, which is cute gonna use this for like when I'm going out shopping so I've got this hat it's from Rosalind Banixki I think that's how you say it I know I'm butchering the name really beautiful it's like a cotton material we've got a lovely sheen we've got a lovely painted material there really really nice and really chic it's giving you Parisian chic it's got the X at the top uh, uh, on the other side really iconic I love it let me take out this paper I think this is fine. I feel like a large would be too big. What do you guys think? So this is the medium. This is the medium. I love it. What do you guys think? It's really French. It's giving Parisian chic. I love it. Imagine with some boots, a fur coat. Woo! We love to see it. What do you guys think? You think it's too small or what? I think it's perfect. This retail, babe, this retail for £327. I got it for £88 on Farfetch during Black Friday. What a bargain, right? <laughs> I love it. I think this is perfect because I think a large would be too big. It would swallow my head. I feel like the beauty of this hat is for it to sit on top of your head. I love it. It's giving Parisian chic. What do we think? E. Hey. Honestly, let me put a video of, of what I'm going to be like at the concert when Afsana comes up, when Amu, Amu. Don't talk in concert, talk in enjoy. Don't talk about Beta Fali, Naba, Bib, Naba, um. Na radio na Angleterre awa donc eza vraiment honneur pour to me sanka ko ka ba nigerien ba ganeyen na na comme on appe fallait me a me mi biso ti na l'icolo donc eza vraiment bien nzambe appe sa biso non sa maka si auto travail pe to to me ma congo o moni nga pe rêve na ngala bon na me ma congo l'icolo ba ba congo na sima na nga ba ye ba ke Ma fille congolaise, elle est bien, elle est vraiment éduquée, elle travaille dur. Donc pour ça, elle est vraiment bien. Elle travaille vraiment dur. Elle travaille vraiment dur. Mon dream est de mettre le Congo sur une map comme il le fait. Je veux que les femmes puissent voir que les congolaises sont en train de travailler. Les congolaises sont en train de travailler, sont respectées. Les congolaises sont en train de travailler, sont en train de faire. Les congolaises sont en train de travailler. Parce qu'il y a un stéréotype sur les congolaises sont en train de travailler, ce qui n'est pas vrai. So I, and I'm so proud that he's literally taking Congo to the map and amongst Davido, um, Burner Boy, amongst all the other artists around the world, like, I know that Congolese music has always been popular. It's always been um, associated with African music in, in terms of like, uh, Kofi, Papa Wemba, Awilo, a lot of people know the old school artists, you know, Rumba is such, an iconic genre of music in Congo, which a lot of people now know. Um, and a lot of people now um, embrace in their music, you know? So every time I listen to Afrobeat music, I can hear a Congolese um, influence somehow, you know, because we are the kings and queen of music, okay? Congo is literally, music is our thing, it's in our blood. Music, fashion, it's in our blood. If you're Congolese, you know. Comment down below. I want to see some flags. Honestly, no, I'm proud to be Congolese. I'm really proud. Anyone that knows me, like, I've been in this country since the age of six, right? I still speak Lingala. I listen to our music. I love the food. I love the ambience. I, everybody knows that I'm from Congo. I'm not afraid to say it. I try my best to embrace the culture. I wouldn't say I'm like 100% cultured because I'm not. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm a, I'm a UK babe. Do you know what I mean? I'm a UK babe, but definitely love being Congolese. So yeah, just want to share that with you today. I wanted to try 
a few pieces from km but i tried it the other day it was too small they're sending me a uh, a different size so maybe i'll just wait for that and show you i saw on tiktok that the arab girls don't dye their hair black the arab girls because if you notice the arab girls their hair are always shiny arab girls arab girls have the most shiniest healthiest hair and they said i saw on tiktok that the trick is to dye your hair black blue not to jet black black blue so I, do you know what i went through my pr packages and i found this and i was like this is what one of the girls showed so i'm gonna dye this hair because i'm thinking to to wear this tomorrow or my blonde initially my initial thought is to wear the blonde wig the main opulence wig but just in case it doesn't work i want to wear this so i'm gonna go ahead and take this out and i'm gonna color it so this i'm gonna leave it for about this is called cosmetic blue um, I'm going to leave this just for about 10 to 15 minutes because I don't want it to turn blue. I want it to be black blue. This is already like a natural color. In terms of here, the guide, I'm like a black brown. So I'm here. What it's going to give me, it's going to be like a, a radiant black blue. So I don't know how long you should keep this in for though. Um, I think we're going to do that together. It doesn't say how long to leave it in for but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and wash take this out it's already coming off as you can see i'm gonna go and take this off come back we're gonna dye it together hey babes i'm in the bathroom now and i've taken off the wig uh, the wig is off my head and i'm going to brush it this hair this wig is from hair vv but i recently added some trucks into it because I felt like it became just a little bit thin. Um, but it's a HD lace, which is really good. Just in case I'm gonna wear it tomorrow, I just wanna um, I just wanna fix it. I just wanna fix it. But yeah, this is what I'm using. It's the live intense colour and it's permanent. The girls on TikTok swear by this. So I'm gonna use it. So it comes with this is i think this is the main mix we've got color creme what's okay wait i need to this is the issue with me i never read this is conditioner we've got some gloves so yeah i knew it so basically this this goes in here and you've got the conditioner so what i'll do i'm gonna leave this for 10 minutes and i'm gonna wash it off conditioner the hair over an hour in a plastic bag that's gonna help to retain some more shine i feel really strange that food we should just do this yeah i really don't want to wear this my head feels weird i'm just gonna do that yeah i'm back so No, I'm waiting for my trousers I got from ASOS to come because I want to wear it tomorrow. Delivery should have been here. Well, an hour. They gave me an hour slot between 2.30 and 2.30. 2.30 and 3.30. I really hope my delivery comes because I'm counting on these trousers. If it doesn't come, I'm finito. I think I'm gonna leave the baby hairs. I wanna focus more at the bottom here. So I'm hoping that you can see. Let me bring you closer what I'm doing. Oops. You should be able to see now. So my focus is really the bottom of the hair. That's my focus, the bottom of the hair. It's important to get the root of the hair as well. 
but I feel like the shine tends to go from here. Right, I'm gonna wash it off now because I just want it to refresh. I don't want it to be too black, uh, blue, sorry. Alright babes, so that was literally everything for today. I've put away things that I'm gonna give away. But also the same giveaway is gonna run on Instagram and oh gosh, I just literally oh no, it's fine. Um so Nest sent me this a diffuser over in the summer. This is the new collection. Well, it was and it's like it's called gardenia i think it smells like a garden it smells really green um so i'm gonna put this in my room thank you so much to nest they also sent me a candle i did really love their candle from last winter sorry i know it's dark in here and i just literally finished it so i had this bottle in here which is also from nest but the sticks are not from nest but i prefer it because it's longer so what i'm gonna do is just dip it in here and um because i like the look i think it looks better when people see me cook and they're like oh you can cook and it's like i'm not being funny yet i'm an african girl i'm a big girl you know i'm an african girl plus i'm a big girl i'm a big woman i live by myself even when i was living at home i was cooking but honestly these earrings i don't know if you saw it properly but these are from monica veneda and they sent it to me how beautiful is this earring like Oh my god, I love it so much. It's beautiful, really, really stunning. But yeah, babes, thank you so much for watching, guys. That was everything for this part of the vlog. I will see you in the next vlog. Um, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Nazara Wario, Mama. Lelo, Lelo. Don't get concerned about Wario, Lelo. Now, get my net, the guy is a lot. Because it's a lot of money. So, it's expensive. To get, to get better, Lelo. We are here, we are here, we are here. I met up with Mr. Way. Jerry Lifestyle. We are ready, we are ready, we are ready for the concert. Let's go. Let me save my battery.
the world and we teach you. I'm from Congo, Congo, that's the Congo that I'm from. And I'm from Africa too, but we go. Here you go, I'm going to
Donald, Donald, go make love. Hey! Oh, je ne me sens rien de ma pizza.
so in today's vlog well today i just want to talk about talk about Sally's concert you want you would have seen yesterday you would have seen before this clip that i went to Sally's concert and oh it was amazing it was really really good you guys know that i'm a huge huge fan of Fally and it was just this is not my first time to see him play i've seen him play in congo before but that wasn't really a concert it was just like a private event um and he was amazing and he was amazing even the other day in london the music we'll start from the fashion the fashion i liked the entry outfit the coat was nice he wore like a pleated skirt now i'm not sure why they chose a pleated skirt but when i think about it my reasoning could be the fact that this is england and he he's connotated maybe that the because of the connotation of england and scotland because you know the scottish they wear skirts i think that's prop that's where he was going with it because it's normal for scottish men to wear skirts so i think that's where the inspiration came from plus he's not the first congolese man to wear a skirt it's it's actually fashion for congolese men to wear skirts um at the end of the day it's fashion you know he has nice legs so <laughs> he decided to show it off i loved the coat the coat was nice um the second outfit i think it was the shiny sequin which was nice um and it was you know shining it was giving uh it was yeah giving really congolese actually both all the outfits were quite shiny i think and he wore some white trainers with it as well shades as always uh i'm not sure he ever took off his glasses to be honest with you actually i'm not sure in which order he changed but from from, from the top of my head i know that the following outfit was a cream blazer oversized with wild wide leg um beige trousers which was really nice the background was really nice really giving vintage uh love that the last outfit was a beige um waistcoat with wide leg trousers so it was the, the the jacket to the trousers he wore with the white blazer which was really clever i love that he's his vibe was ndombolo cartel latte vibes you know fali comes from cartel latte i'm a huge music lover you know i came to uk at the age of six but music is such a big deal in our culture in the congolese community so it was really and i grew up listening to them so it was really amazing to see cartel latte coffee vibes with the dancers you know being brought back on stage it was really amazing the song choices amazing he sang marlene made a mala compagnie uh serve cobanda service day he sang that he sang ogazi one of my favorite songs ogazi yeah. love that song oh the song choices was amazing i loved it overall 10 10 hello there darlings hello welcome to Izvij al Amad, where i share all things fabulous i hope you guys are doing well before we get into the vlog if you're not subscribed joe babes i don't know what you're waiting for subscribe to my channel turn on your notification bell so that you never miss a post um please do excuse my face my face is swollen i've been unwell so i've just been resting the main point of this part of the video is to let you know that the giveaway is now live. I know I promised you guys a giveaway for a long time, but the way I've chosen to do it is via Instagram. And it's easier for me to keep track of who is entering. So the giveaway pieces are what you should be seeing on the screen right now. So one lucky winner will be able to win a Creed fragrance with a Creed discovery set oxydor fragrance you guys make sure you show love to my girl oxydor she actually gifted me this so that i can give to you so thank you so much to oxydor fragrances you guys know that i showcased her fragrance and one of my favorites so make sure to show her some love you will get to experience her fragrance and i guarantee you're going to love it you're also going to love the gift set from creed and also you'll get a, a hair tongue which is part of the package for one the second package is a bunch of beauty products mainly from lancome and also a, br a makeup brush set from spectrum you will get um what else was in there oh perfume de mali fragrance as well you will get so it's really good um bundle of prizes that i kept for you guys for this christmas period initially i said the winner will be announced on monday but i didn't realize that i was going to post this here on sunday 
So just to give you guys enough time to enter, I think I'm going to have to change the date to, it was Monday the 18th, maybe until, I think Thursday, Thursday 21st, because then I can always send it out on Friday, and this, and hopefully you should get it before Christmas, if not then after, and um, this is international. All the details are on my Instagram stories and I will also enter it on here, okay? So that you can also be able to enter this giveaway. It's just a way for me to say thank you to you guys for supporting me. It's nothing major you have to do in return. All you have to do is comment and keep on track with my post and put an emoji, um, which I've chosen, um, which you should see if you go to my story and I think I'll put it here as well. So yeah, it's just a way for me to say thank you to you guys for supporting me and always showing me love. I really appreciate you. Um, so yeah, that's all it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and yeah, have a Merry Christmas. Well, I, no, I think I'll see you before Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye.